and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below. Become part of the family before you go. Today we are barefaced, as you can tell. My red cheeks are so showing right now. But today's vlog is going to be a chill at home video, so I wanted to start by doing a little mini get ready with me, because why not? I haven't done one of these in a long time. And I really want to share some new skincare products with you guys that I've been absolutely loving. So today I'm going to be sharing some products by Tula Skincare with you guys. So thank you so much to Tula for sponsoring today's video, because I love this stuff. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the Rose Glow and Get It Eye Balm and then also their face filter blurring and moisturizing primer. These have both become an essential part of my routine. The Rose Glow Eye Balm instantly cools, it hydrates, and it de puffs your under eyes, which you guys know I love anything that hydrates because my skin is so dry and it's just as easy as applying it just like this under the eye and it instantly brightens the look of my under eyes. This can be worn under or over your makeup. It smells so good and it feels so good on the skin and just like that I have a beautiful glow and I'm super duper hydrated and then after I put that on I go ahead with their moisturizing primer you guys can see I've been using this bad boy up put a little bit on here the rose glow and the primer are perfect to add into any makeup bag they act as your eye care primer highlighter all in just two products so it's perfect for those that are on the go the formula is amazing for all skin types and it has a beautiful warm glow that looks great on all skin tones you guys can see I just literally threw it on really quickly and it kind of like blurred my face got rid of that redness and just made me look like more glowy and beautiful and bright and not so like dry and sad <laughs> my redness is something that I'm very insecure about so this product is like actually life-changing for me because I would walk around like this and not be so insecure about my redness especially during the winter I'm telling you guys these are the perfect product for hydration and glow your skin's been looking a little dull this is gonna boost you up I promise <laughs> So I want to tell you about some of the ingredients in these products and their benefits. So the face filter primer has chia seeds, which is a prebiotic that increases the skin's luminosity, which you can immediately tell. It actually has licorice in it as well, which evens the appearance of skin tone, which you can instantly see it do on my face just now. And also has probiotics, which helps lock in the skin's hydration and just keep it well balanced. Rose Glow also has probiotics and then also has caffeine, which helps firm the look of wrinkles and lines on your face. And then we've got aloe, apple, and watermelon, which provides deep hydration to your your eye area, blueberry, which is rich in antioxidants, hydrates and protects the skin. It's got rose water, which hydrates, softens, and tones the skin, and so many other amazing ingredients in these products, you guys. They are amazing. I've been trying a ton of their products out. I've also been using their moisturizer, which is amazing. So I highly recommend you guys go check out their products. I will have the link in the description. Use my code Alyssa Rose, and you will get 15% off site wide. So after I do those products, I'm actually going to throw on some of their moisturizer as well because I can't be hydrated enough. I'm telling you guys, my skin is so dry and this moisturizer smells so good. Oh my gosh. Last week, my friend Sam was over and she's a professional makeup artist, so she loves skincare and makeup and she was trying out this moisturizer and she was obsessed with it. So she's super picky with her moisturizers and she loved this one. It literally smells so good. This is their 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I'm going to be repurchasing this for sure. While I let that hydrate my skin, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows a little bit. I feel like I haven't sat down and just done like a little get ready with me in so long. I've been so into my vlogging that I don't even do sit down videos anymore, but those fancy lightings and all that kind of stuff just ain't for me anymore. I don't know the patience. I like to just pick up the camera and go. So I'm not going to do my full face of makeup that I usually do when I'm filming, but... Since we're chilling at home today, I'm going to show you kind of like my little mini home look. Since I already feel like my skin looks beautiful with those two products, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. It's a full coverage moisturizer, so on days where I don't really want to wear a heavy duty foundation, I throw this on. But if I was wearing foundation, I've been loving the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Foundation. This has been my favorite. Uh, it's super affordable, covers nicely. I don't feel bad using it every single day that it was like really expensive and I'm wasting it. So I've really been loving this. I've been the shade 368C Golden Beige. And then the applicator I also really love. It's kind of just like a plastic piece of plastic. And you just like wipe it on your face and then blend it in. Love that. But for today, we're just going to do a tiny bit of tinted moisturizer, I guess. Full coverage moisturizer. It's not really that full coverage, but we're just going to put on a little bit. And I always use the Real Technique sponge. I just swear by it. I've been using it for so long and it's just never failed me, you know? I usually don't already have my mascara on, but for the sake of the beginning of this video, I would have looked like a little boy without it because my eyelashes are pretty light. So I just threw that on already, but usually I would do it later on in my routine, but this isn't a routine video, so what do you guys care? This product is awesome for the summer because it has the 
SPF 50 in it so your face don't get burnt. And then really quickly, I'm just going to set that down. Otherwise, this is like a moisturizing foundation. So it will definitely like move around if I don't set it. I'm not picky with powders. I am not a beauty guru. So I'm just using one that I got in like a random boxy charm. So I'm going to bring that under the eyes. I usually would wear concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't feel like I need it today. So I put that around my eyes and then I also go right where I do like my little mini contour just so that my bronzer blends seamlessly and then really quickly just around my mouth again because since it's a moisturizer it will move. The bronzer that I always use is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in just their darkest shade and then I just quickly throw it on here just for a little bit of dimension on my face otherwise I'm gonna look super flat. So much better already. So I'm thinking for tonight we are going to try and wrap up all of the presents because Christmas is a coming up before you can even imagine. It's so close and I've got a lot of gifts to wrap and I don't think I could sit there and do it all in one shot so I'm gonna try and get some done tonight so that I'm not so swamped. I don't think I mentioned it but it's gonna be a late night vlog tonight because I was working all day and I just didn't think picking up the camera would be interesting to you guys but that's okay because I stay up later than I would like to anyway I'm on a pretty bad sleeping schedule which I really want to change up I've been going to bed at like 2 and waking up at like 10 30 and I'm used to going to bed at like 9 30 waking up at like 8 so um I want to really get back on that schedule but tonight I think is gonna be another late night I gotta just force myself to wake up early and then after that I'll be able to like get on a better schedule because then I'll be tired earlier, you know? Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Force myself to wake up early. All right, bringing back some color into my face. Then I'm gonna throw on like a super, I don't know, mauve -y blush. I'm not picky with blushes, just something to give me a little bit of color on the cheeks. Then I just take a fluffy brush and kind of like blend them together so there's no patchiness. I'm not very picky with my daily eyeshadow either, just something like brownish, orangish, nudish something like that. And then my thing lately is putting highlighter on the lid instead of like a shimmer shadow. Same thing, just a shimmery powder. But I've really been loving this one. It's Ofra. Uh, it's like a collab, I think, with Madison Miller. It's called Sea Shimmer. It is stunning and so pigmented. So I just throw that right on the lid super quickly. Nothing crazy. Now we spray. I like the Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been using this for years. Or I also like the Morphe setting spray as well. Morphe's definitely more affordable. Doing a super quick highlight after that spray because I feel like it just makes it pop more when it's a little bit moist. Lastly, I'm just going to touch up the mascara a little bit after all those powders. They're a little bit hiding. I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Sam got me into this one. I do also like better than sex by Too Faced, but this one is really good as well. And there you have it. There's a super quick routine. Usually for any other day, I would do like a foundation and a cream contour, and that's pretty much the only difference, I guess. But honestly, if I wasn't talking, this takes me like super, super quick to do a quick routine. And then I just throw on a nude lippy. This one is by Revlon. It's the ultra matte lip color in the shade Seduction. Ooh, false leg. It actually smells really good. I've been using it recently. I took it out of my makeup collection and I really like it. Definitely a little more pink than I'm used to, but I think it's pretty. So thanks for chatting with me, you guys. Let's get on with this day. Or night, I should say. First things first. Oh! Hello, my little love bug. Were you snuggled in here? You look angry at me. Are you mad that I turned the light on? First things first, I'm throwing on a hoodie because your girl's chilly. How about some A-Rose? We haven't worn her in a while. Guys, if you haven't listened to Camila Cabello's new song, I know she came out with a whole album, I think. It's so good. It's called Oh My Oh My or My Oh My. <laughs> Something like that. It's so good. It's been stuck in my head all day. Yes, we love a good hoodie. Link down below. This is my OG first merch and I think it's still my favorite. Love it. Wow, you guys, I feel so glowy and beautiful. By the way, if you guys hear that upstairs, uh, Zane's little sister is actually having a cute little Christmas party today. So, um, her, she has a lot of friends over. So if you hear like banging and walking and talking, that's what that is. 
All right, we're gonna start pulling out some gifts over here, start wrapping. I have been doing my last minute online shopping. I did some late last night, cause you know, you always do impulse buys late at night when you're lying in bed. And then I also did some today as people are like texting me what's on their wish list and stuff because I've kind of got everyone's like main gifts down pat and now I just need like kind of a little bit more, you know, like everyone's gifts are good, but now I need like those little filler kind of gifts and like stocking stuffer kind of stuff. So I've been working on that, orders are all ordered some Amazon Prime stuff today and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're doing pretty good with this Christmas shopping now. I've actually got a really good amount of good surprises for people that I feel like they're really not expecting. So I feel like it's gonna be, oh my God, it sounds like someone's falling. I think it's gonna be a really good surprising Christmas, you know? My wrapping buddy is here. He always wants to wrap with me. Can I help you? We have this bulb from Amazon and you can like change its color on it So like if I wanted to go on the phone right now, I could like make it green blue whatever, you know But it does like a white setting and it is so bright Like I feel like I don't even need a ring light anymore Like I just brought it in here and it just oomph the lighting like so much more I don't know. I want these like all over like I want them in the living room for sure because this light is so yellow It's awful. It could be like the um casing of it. You know how like Whoa. Am I gonna be able to show you? Will it focus on it? Anyways, that glass shell that's on it is pretty yellow itself, so I don't know if it's exactly the bulb or the cover for it, you know? Anyways, it's kind of hard to show you guys wrapping because I don't want you to see what... Well, I don't want people that I bought gifts for to see what I got them. Zane doesn't watch though, so you can see Zane's gifts. Oh, a charger. Forgot I took this out of my car. Perfect. Baby? Yeah. Don't look, okay? Okay. How amazing is this, you guys? Oh! I don't know how I'm gonna wrap that up though. So we've got this full of gifts as well. And I do have some bags in here, so I don't necessarily have to gift wrap everything because that <laughs> would be a lot. Benji's favorite. You ready to be annoying? <laughs> how cute are these? I got these from the dollar store last year. I love these. It's so cute under the tree too, like a little pop of this red I think it's called like buffalo print. These are the pajamas that we got this year. And I don't know, all of a sudden I really love that red buffalo print. It's really pretty to me and Christmassy. I actually have this gift for Sam that can't go in any sort of wrapping. So we're gonna wrap her up and put her in there. Don't look, Sam, I know you're watching. And another one for Sam. Wow, what are all these weird shaped presents? No one will know. Perfect, oh my God, so cute in the little bag. Love it. The only thing is I'm feeling like Benji might try to jump in these, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. We'll see. The tag on this bag says, to Amani, love, listen, Zane. We're gonna throw that out. <laughs> I also grabbed these super cute gift card holders from TJ Maxx, I believe. I actually, actually, I actually have yet to open them up and see what they look like. Oh, cute, okay. It's just a little tiny holder and they stick in the sides here, so. I do have a few gift cards in here that we'll put together for some people. Let's wrap some stuff up. I've got a mistletoe in my hand And the boys are lining up For my kisses are for one special Starting to pile up here. I'm not putting everything completely in its spot yet because I want to organize because we are doing our Christmas with Sam and Drew before actual Christmas. So I want their presents at the front so I don't have to go digging through everything and like end up forgetting some. So I'm taking a quick break for now. Zane and I are gonna make some dinner and I'm really excited because I'm real hungry. I've been waiting for this one to eat. Did you put on a hat because your hair is ugly and you don't want to be on camera with your hair? Yes. Baby, it's okay. You're beautiful just the way you are. Thank you, baby. But I have a proposal. Uh oh. How about we order Chinese food? <gasps> what? The turn of events I wasn't expecting, but I needed to hear. <laughs> what? I was gonna say I'll do the dishes and then you just cook. Oh. Even though your turn, like I'll do them all. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just make food. Yes, because that sounds good. Because I want to help you out. We have groceries. You are so good. Like. 
so gorgeous. Cutie the least so I could do is just today. help you out and do some dishes. You know what I'm saying? 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 For real? Okay. You down for yeah. that? Yeah. Cool. Because Cause like, as much as I really want to order a bunch of Chinese food and chow down and watch Shark Tank, we have food in the house and we also spent a lot of money on Christmas gifts, so maybe we should eat what we have. Yeah, probably a good idea. But maybe soon we'll get that Chinese food again because that was bomb. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little intimidating and I know that you wanted to cook and then we're gonna watch Shark Tank and we're gonna we are? lazy. What? We are. You just said that you want to chow down and watch no, Shark Tank. No, I know, yeah. But I, just I agree. Dylan, so I like, know, I was trying to get to it today, just... It's all good, baby. It happens. We're a team. Thanks, baby. Teamwork makes a dreamer. Adventures with Miss Lindsay. Neither do you. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> a lot of guys always ask how I find my recipes, and literally, I think of what I want to make. So tonight, I really want to make chicker, chickers. Chickers? <laughs> Chicken and peppers. You haven't had chickers in so Oh, stop. Long. That sounds so good right now. Don't no, tempt listen, me. I'm, I've I'm been pretty good. Listen, I've been being healthy. Listen. What? I'm a, I love my fast food, but checkers is the one thing that Oily. every time I eat, so grease. I feel like shit after. So grease. Like, I gotta Taco Bell, McDonald's be fine, but that every time I have that, I feel like shit. Taco Bell's been messing with me lately, though, too. Really? Any hoozy. Yeah, it's last time I had it. What? Luke was where it's at. Last time I had Taco Bell and Domino's, it's messed with me. For example, I want to make chicken, and then we have peppers, and I want to make it with rice. I want some sort of like chicken pepper rice dish. That's what's in my head. So I literally go on Google, and I put chicken with peppers and rice, and I find a recipe that looks pretty decently easy, and then I kind of tweak it and make it my own, or sometimes I just use the recipe. Try the air fryer. Because when you made those oh, chicken yeah, cutlet things, fryer. remember it was so soft. Can I cut it into pieces first? Yeah, if anything, it'll cook way quicker, I think. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Wait, see. I still what? have to do it myself. Fine, I got this. Wait, I can do I'll this. I'll make it with you, but then you gotta do the no, dishes. No, no, I'm not doing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing dishes. You're good at it. Thank you, baby. That's not, I'm not even just saying that, though. You're like, you're actually better at it. Like, uh huh. Yeah. I take 20 times longer than you baby, do. I'm not. You're, you're trying to, you're you're trying trying to butter it. me up so that I wanna do no, it. No, you're quick with it. I know you are. We've got a massive change of plans, everybody. Suddenly we decided that we wanted a pasta with chicken alfredo and peas instead. So that is what I'm chefing up really quick. I actually realized that we had some egg noodles in the pantry. We haven't had those in so long. And then we are putting some low-cal alfredo in it. We're gonna throw that baddie right in. And there you have it folks, egg noodles, alfredo sauce, peas, chicken, fresh basil on top. That's our quick dinner. We're gonna watch some Shark Tank and then I'm gonna get back to wrapping. Oh my goodness, mamas, are you so comfy? You're so comfy, huh? Is she really that tired? I guess. She was just laying there and let me put the blanket on top of her. So cute. Are you exhausted? Are you okay? You're kind of scaring me. Yeah, she's just tired. Yeah? Oh, she's okay. She's giving me the bitch face. <laughs> she's like, I was trying to sleep. Sorry, Mama, is you so comfy? Alright, so. It actually got to be kind of late, got a little distracted there. So I'm gonna continue wrapping for a little bit. I actually just uh, brushed my teeth and put my retainer in, so I'm talking a little funny. That is why I wanna wrap some presents and then head straight to bed. So let's get those done. So I can't say what it is, but there's a giant box sitting over there. It would be pretty obvious if I said who it was for. That box is ginormous and I have this roll of wrapping paper that I'm not really going to use for a lot of presents, so I might as well use it for that giant, giant present instead of, you know, wasting all of my really good quality wrapping paper. That sounds so stupid, but I'm sure you guys get what I mean. So I actually think I'm going to wrap that up now and get the big giant present out of the way. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. I'm scared. How do you do this? I don't know. We'll find out. No, you're just gonna rip holes in it. No! I don't need you ripping holes in this. If I double this, then it should fit around it. Oh, that's all that's on here. Huh. Just to fill in this spot. And then it'll be against the wall. That's fine. We did it, you guys. She's wrapped up. 
behind the tree. I took everything out from the tree so that that could sit behind. Otherwise, I don't know where that would have went. But these are all the presents that are wrapped up so far. It actually makes perfect placement so that we can still get to the outlet for the tree. Also bad news, I think I'm running out of tape. So there goes that. But let's fill this tree up. One, two, three. Beautiful. Look how pretty it's looking. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I love the little pops of red. I think it looks so cute. And I'm feeling really productive because now all the presents that I have are in that bin or coming in the mail. So we're being we're 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 caught up, you know? Well you guys I did as much as I could before I ran out of tape. So that's gonna do it for me today. I need to stock up on tape, tissue paper, a few other things before we can continue this party. Real quick before I go, you guys, thanks again to Tula for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in any other products, I will have the link in my description. You can use the code Alyssa Rose and you will get 15% off your entire order. So today's notification shout out goes to Isabel Arkey. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for watching. You were the first comment on today's video. So I love you so very much. Thank you for being a part of the notification squad. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below, letting me know the amount of notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. My Christmas list is shorter than ever be.